and welcome to another video by me. This is a video, as the title would depict, going over the Yellow Cake Furry Burrito. It's a, a very, very cool pedal. It's kind of an overdrive, it's kind of a fuzz, it's, it's kind of got like a dual gain circuit going on. As you can see by the knobs, you've got gain at the top left and drive at the bottom left. Um, then you've got a fat switch in the middle, uh, filter, which is kind of your tone, and level, which is obviously your output. And then the LED underneath the level also doubles up as a, like a battery sag or a battery starve. So, you know, it kind of enters that spitty sort of spluttery stage. Um, but yeah, very good pedal. Uh, Know in the UK, they're available through James at Home of Tone. Uh, very good guy. Go check him out. Um, this pedal itself, I was um, lucky enough to have been lent by Stuart from Stuart Tate, Tate FX. Um, the Raise the Dead guy. Very, very good fuzz. Check that out. I'll put loads of links below. Um, you can flick through them at your will. But anyway, on to tones. We won't fuck about. Initially, I've got both mics panned to centre while I do these sound bites. I'm going to be using my Shergold SMO2 uh, at the minute, bridge humbucker with Jeff Beck, and then it's two single coils, so I might flick between them. Obviously, you'll hear a tone of a variation. Uh, so yeah, going through the orange on its clean channel, the clean channel on the orange is pristinely clean, is the natural channel on the Brent Hines Terror. Um, and then we go into the Vox also, the Vox is slightly more broken up. Um, in its natural state. But anyway, so clean tone, reference tone, whatever you'd want to call it. We'll go back to the bridge humbucker and uh, we'll take the drive right down so just see what the overdrive is like, overdrive itself. Whack the um, tone up a bit. Full.
Now let's try the battery sag, um, anti-clockwise, takes it out. Put it halfway. Everything back to center, and let's try it through the Vox. So, um yeah, orange clean tone was. So as you can hear, there's just a little bit of grit. Whack down the sag. So I've whacked everything there. I don't know why. Um, I'll now pan the orange slightly to the left and the vox slightly to the right. So I'll separate and flick both amps on. Um, let's see how it reacts to guitar volume, so I'll just bring the guitar volume in on the bridge humbucker again.
yeah, so that's about it. If you haven't gathered, I like this pedal a lot. It's you know very very versatile. You wind the wind the gain right down, and it's just a good standalone overdrive. Smack the gain up, and it's pretty damn filthy. Smack both drives up, and it's absolutely filthy. You know the tone or the filter has a good level of control from you know like a really rounded off tone to you know quite high end, quite shrill. A fat feature, you know the fat switch, mini switch adds that little bit of fatness to it as well and the battery starve you know it's like i say versatile you could you know track and track and track with this just you know getting different shapes out of it but yeah really good pedal it's going to pain me to send it back to stuart uh mr tate effects i will because he's lent me a um a prototype overdrive he's working on so if he's good enough to look after me i'm good enough to look after him and just generally speaking i Personally, going off on a tangent, think there's a, a good vibe in the guitar community at the moment. Uh, you know, even going to a recent guitar show in Birmingham, meeting new people, and sort of almost feeling like a meeting and mating and making, meeting and making friends. Uh, you know, James from Home of Turn, where these are available, and, and the Mother Mary straps are available. For one, you know, he he owes me nothing yet. It's helped me out no end with various bits and pieces. Uh, so yeah, shout out to James. He's a brilliant guy. So give his website a look. Um, give Yellow Cake a look. Give Stuart Tate a look. Um, if he asks, you haven't seen this pedal. It got lost in the post. Slash my pedal board. But anyway, I'll chuck all the links down below to various sites. My Instagram, Stuart Tate's page, etc. Yellow Cake's page. Um, and yeah, if you found it remotely interesting and not too pain, not too painful, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. I don't see the point. I always say this, I don't see the point in the thumbs down button. You know, there's way too much negativity. I don't see the point in arsehole comments. Constructive criticism is always welcome. If any if constructive criticism is it, if anyone could help me out of my fucking USB interface, that would be helpful. As you'll probably hear on some of the audio, especially when pushing. Um, I'm not clipping, but there is in, there is some like some noise, like a snap, crackle, and pop. Um, whether it be the mic leads, but it seems to be from both mics. <laughs> this is really going off on a tangent, um, or whether it's just because I'm just using a laptop and not a you know not a, not a, a full on power station of a computer. But yeah, something's not right, and it's really intermittent. It's not every time I record. I'm saying this, I'm rattling on, I can see the light is fading. So yeah, Furry Burrito by Yellow Cake, check them out, they're not hideously expensive, for like, so they're definitely available from Home of Tone. Um, maybe I'll get commission for every time I say Home of Tone. Well, it's probably a bit of a tongue twister and I'll get fucked up and say something else instead. Um, but yeah, cool pedal. Cheers for watching, um, I'll post something else at some point. Cheers, bye bye.